Name twins are back! Hello. Yay! We're doing another vlog. Oh my god, the demand is crazy. <laughs> it's really funny. We're like famous or something. Yeah, we're like quad we're like within quasi, our friend, quasi within our friend group. Yeah. <laughs> but we we hope to expand. We hope to expand. <laughs> like we're just kinda waiting for like at an at the event or day of days or something for someone to like come up to us and say they recognize us. <laughs> they watch our our stuff. Stuff. they watch our stuff like Yeah. Oh really? <laughs> Glad you like it. Yeah, so um, totally. If you if you know us, if you see us at one of these things, come say hi. Exactly. We're not shy. No, no, um, no. So, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> so so what's up? Um, actually, she's got a lot to say about her, like her stuff going on because oh my, my girl hasn't been on very much. I don't really know what's happening. Oh well. So do you have any updates on that? I mean, we have a lot to talk about because we have eight weeks until we're going to LA. So excited, counting breakfast. down. Oh my wait. god. Oh my god. We're so excited. And Amelia and Emily. Which obviously we should totally give a shout out to Brooke and Bia. Brooke and Bia, hi. hi. Among, and everybody else who's coming. Yes. Anna, Sherry, Dama. I'm gonna see we're gonna see Kathy. I, she's not going to the breakfast. Um but yeah. Everyone it's Kim, gonna be awesome. Mama Celeste. We are <laughs> so looking forward to it. We're really looking forward to it. We're counting down. Planning tonight for like just meetups and I can't even think about. Do. I can't even think about like what it's gonna be like to walk into the room and see everyone. What there. we're gonna wear? Yeah. Oh God. What a debacle. Be, yeah. What a debacle. So yeah. So that's one thing that we're really know, excited. Totally <laughs> yeah. Excited. Oh God. I have like thirty. I have like almost exactly a month of the semester left, and I just really ready to be done. But I have finals in the way, which sucks. But that's okay. It'll be worth it. It will. So yeah. But nothing, yeah. as far as the show's concerned, nothing going on with my girl since last time um, Stefano found out that she was in on it with EJ. Yeah, I saw and the she video. And she slapped her. Oh, I didn't see that. He slapped her. No, okay. EJ did or Stefano No, did? Stefano really? slapped Anna. I was like, <gasps> when I watched wow. it, I was like, you do not hit my girl. <laughs> like, I was really upset. I saw the episode where I thought he was, like, going to strangle her. Yeah. Or something. Where she was getting a massage and he, like, <laughs> stepped in. Yeah, that one. Yeah. So I saw that, but I didn't see the slap. Stefano, you may be an evil, like, crazy asshole, but you should know better than anyone not to hit women. So step off, okay? That's all I have to say about that. If you touch my girl again, we're going to have problems, okay? Okay. So any updates on when she's coming back? No, but she's still, like, her name is mentioned in spoilers, meaning, like, she's probably, like, when your name is still mentioned in spoilers, like, someone's looking for you still or something, you know they're going to be back. So since I missed it, the last thing I saw was she had, he showed the video to EJ. So mm -hmm. where is she now? We don't know. Okay. So you don't know if he, like, did something to her? Or no, like we know that he let her go. Okay. But he said, no matter where you hide or what rock you're under, oh I will gosh. find you. I'm like, why'd you let her go if you're just going to go try to find her again? Come wow. on. Leave her alone. Just let her, wow. let her do her thing. And Calliope's coming back. Her oh, yeah. BFF. So there's got to be scenes with them. Yeah. There has to oh, be. Oh, yeah. That would make perfect like, sense. Because, like, the whole history Well, of maybe that's Calli where she is. Maybe she's with Calliope. I hope so. And like that will be, you'll see, this, you know what I mean? Like, I hope she is. She, that'd be so cool. Yeah, I really would. I'm so excited. Cool. <laughs> so that's what's up with my girl. So what? So is it up, oh, are we to me now? All well, right. What was your so, last question? Oh, nothing. I was just going to say, the last time we chatted, mm -hmm. I had my whole theory about how, you know, Bo was working undercover and all of that. Yeah. So since then, of course, like I think a week after that, of course, um, Bo and Carly did the deed in uh, Bo and Hope's bed. Yeah, so you know, he's pretty much dead to me at this point. Horrible. Yeah, I mean, I can't believe he would do something like that. Yeah, what a dick. I mean, of course, Sorry. There, <laughs> yeah, well, I think that word PG-13. That word's appropriate for him and worse. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, people of course are speculating. They don't want to believe this is really him. They want to believe it's an imposter or, you know, maybe he's under mind control or... Because it's so out of drug. character. Yeah, it's so out of character. I mean, even Peter himself said that he... The reason he cut his hair short and put the earring back in is because he thinks Bo is having a midlife crisis. And then even Christian was saying in her... Could be. In one of her interviews that, like, you know, she doesn't see why Hope would ever take Bo back after the way he's treated her. So, I have to say I agree with her. I've been all over the place saying that I wouldn't take him back. Yeah. I well, wouldn't. Well, now, now we have, like... Well, we know why Bo is leaving the screen because of his like two month yeah. sabbatical or mm -hmm. whatever. 
But in the show, like going to see, like give Kimberly a bone marrow transplant. What? Kim has leukemia? No. Yeah, but here's the thing. Okay. Is Kim coming back for the funeral yeah. or not? Like, yeah. Is so, Patsy Pease confirmed? Yes. So Good. my question then is like one of the, well, I mean, I guess you don't have to be even related to be a bone marrow match. Right. But we just thought it was kind of interesting that, you know, Bo is the one who was in the match when he's not even, they're not full brother and sister. You know, they have different fathers. What if he's Roman and like Roman is like sleeping so, with like, Carly? <laughs> sleeping with Carly? Ew. I don't know. It's, it's so crazy. Honestly, like I want to see Carly get with Dan. Me too. That's what We're I what I would. Darley, Darley all the way. I would love to see that. So I loved their the mother daughter child scenes. Yeah. Yesterday, exactly. I freaking ate so it up. That's what I was saying too. It's like my whole thing is like, you know, and I even posted this that if you know, they went about this the entirely the wrong way because. I feel like more people are against Carly now because of what she's done to Bone Hope or because of the Bone Hope situation. And it's like, if they had just done this right, then there would not be so much backlash against Carly. Homegirl looks a little skanky to me yeah, right now. Yeah, She's exactly. flirting with Daniel over here. And she's sleeping up with, with a married man. I mean, she has no problem yeah. sleeping with a married man in the bed he shared with his wife. And, and she doesn't even care that he's not divorced or mention the word divorce. It just seems weird. I don't know. It's well, you know, weird. I can't, you know, like I said, I'm just, I'm just waiting. Actually, I'm just sitting here and just waiting to see what's going to happen because, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, it's just a soap. It but is, I but don't feel like them trying to make me out to be an idiot by just saying, okay, we're going to put him back together now. Yeah. Accept it. He's, you know, treated her like crap, but even, you know, we know you want them together, so we'll just throw them back together. But I don't see how I they just don't understand do why they had to bring... Carly in is like a Bo and Hope interloper. Me either. It wasn't even like you said. When I mean, now what? they've written it to like, she could do so much with Daniel and Chloe. Yeah. And like, like mess that up because she has a legitimate reason to yeah. mess it up. Hello, she has a kid with Daniel now and they're bonding. I'm so glad to see Melanie not being mean to Carly. Like, thank you, Days well, Riders. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I just hate that, you know, because of the situation, it's like, hard for people to like Carly now because if they had done the Bone Hope breakup right and they had actually you know had them broken up maybe even had them you know on the way to divorce when she showed up or you know what I mean they, right. they, I just feel like that you know if they were if they were determined to break up Bone Hope it's like then there should have been closure yeah. there should have been closure there and then let them go their separate ways and then let the whole Bo and Carly relationship build up but it's like they're not winning any fans by doing it the way they've right. done it you know because it's just, I just think it was just done so well. I feel like the writers on Days aren't collaborating. I don't because. think they know what one, you know, the left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing. Yeah. Basically. It sucks. Which is, it's like one of the more obvious, like, oops. Yeah. Oops. Things. But we just totally yeah. destroyed, like, the last standing super couple on Days. Yeah, what is it? I so, know somebody, like, brought up, um, had a thread on the boards that was like, does Days even want to do super couples anymore? Yeah. I'm like, well, shit, it's soap operas. You better have super couples. Like, on One Life to Live, Bo and Nora getting married now. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it's just, you know, like I said, on they... On All My Children, Adam and Brooke mm -hmm. getting back together. That's awesome. Which I love. Yeah, <laughs> really I mean, cute. you know, that's what I mean, though. It's just, like, I can't believe that, you know, they've got... I want to believe that they actually, you know, have something up their sleeve and that they're not just going to be like, yeah. okay, let's just throw them back together and everyone will be happy. Well, I won't. God, I can't <laughs> wait until, like, the middle... I can't wait until, like, early June to see, like, the memorial. Oh, yeah, that should be like, good. Mo not because, like, oh, yay, Alice is dying. No, please don't get me wrong on that. It's going to be It's more sad. like I'm really anxious to see some of the actors back on the show. Like, Melissa Reeves, mm -hmm. who I follow on Twitter now, yay, thanks to you. Yay. She said she filmed the other day and her scenes are going to be June 9th. Yep. So good for her. Like, I'm excited for her. So. I think it's going to be awesome. And, I'm also, and I'm also really looking forward to Hope's storyline starting. What is what is that about? Well, we don't, we don't really know that. yet, but, but, but we'll talk about it next time. I'm I think it'll be full underway in our next vlog. Oh, okay. For sure. I'm so excited about Kim and Shane. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. <laughs> I love I Kim and I Shane. I think I I don't know how I love Kim and Shane. They like ended like two years before I was born. No, but they're an awesome. They're awesome. So yeah. it's good. It's definitely That's what YouTube's good. for. Yes. So, but yeah. So well, I mean, sorry that if this was depre a depressing vlog, you know. But but you know. Yeah. It'll stop. It will. Things will get better. Yeah. We have ten seconds to say goodbye. <laughs> All right. Well, next vlog may gonna be that much closer to a. Uh, Yes. to the June breakfast, and we'll have more to report on. Yes, we will. So we will talk to you guys then. Peace out. Right, bye, guys.